So I am right here with the homemade boat motor. It is not on the homemade pontoon boat, but I want to put it back on there. And I get a lot of questions, how did you build it? I've got some metal, I made a frame. This frame bolts the foot to the engine. This is a lawnmower engine, 12 and a half horse Briggs. I've got a piece of pipe. I drilled a hole in the pipe. I drilled a hole in the crankshaft. There is a grade eight bolt going through. I've got a reducer going down to a smaller pipe over the shaft in the foot. Again, drilled a hole, got a grade eight bolt going through it. Now what I want to do right this second with it, it's not quite fast enough for me. And I could A, go in here and put some gears or put some pulleys, something to make it turn faster down here. That sounds like a lot of work. If I could find a bigger propeller, this is the one that came on it. I've got this one off of a 35 Johnson. And it has two problems. It hits here, which I could cut that up a little bit. And the shaft, this shaft is a 5 8 This is a 3 quarter, but I've got these two bushings. If we put these two bushings on, and i got to grind that down a little bit so it goes on all the way, then the propeller would fit after I cut this open a little bit or just cut that completely off, make a little notch. The only thing I have to decide, I've got to drill one of these two holes big enough for a bolt this size to go through. Once I do that, get the bushings on, it'll be time to go to the river and test it. And I've also got uh, this one off the 35, there's another one. It actually has more pitch. I'll probably use it. If you compare the two, that one's got more pitch to it. I don't see any numbers anywhere on them, but I think I want to go with this one. So that's what we're trying next. Right here with the homemade boat motor, and I've made a little progress. I was able to drill that hole and get a bolt through. This is a quarter inch grade eight, two and a half inch bolt. I've got the bushings in place and the bolt goes right through. And up next, where the propeller hits this, I'm gonna cut, probably cut that whole little ear off and make a little groove for the propeller to go into. Then we can bolt it on and go test it. I'm thinking saws all and just cut it right off here, then grind a little groove. Shouldn't be too bad. I put a little bit of soap on there. That keeps the dust down and keeps the blade from getting stopped up with aluminum. Took it right off. And now with a little help from the grinder, the propeller does not hit. It is literally test drive time as soon as we can get this back on the boat. Back at the river, time to test out the new propeller, the new bigger propeller. Actually, it's the old propeller that's bigger.
So the engine was laying on its side, the muffler's full of oil, it's burning that oil off, and it's making the smoke rings. I love smoke rings. Those are good quality smoke rings. I think that propeller might be a little much for this kicker. We have to put a beach one on. Some of the smoke rings go down and roll in the water. There one. There's one. So the oil was dripping out of the air filter right down on the muffler. Looks like it's kind of slowed down a little bit now. And I should have brought the other propeller, the medium propeller. That would have been the right one. This one's a little bit too big. But that gives an excuse to come back. And now we're on the Georgia side about to go over this hill and see what we see. If we can get up this hill. Canadians first. Watch for gators. He's a gator phobe. I see nothing. 